parachute pants. So yeah, basically we're going to start with yet another nod to a, one of Jish's LPs. This is the exact line that he said when he started part 8 of the NES Metroid playthrough. The only difference being that he actually ended the LP, that particular LP, on that segment. So yeah, anyways, got to deal with Metroids. Uh, in the easy run, you don't find this particular Metroid in this room, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't believe you do. Um, that pretty much makes this room exposition if you're, if you're playing the easy mode. Uh, in terms of in terms of fighting the Metroids, they really aren't that different from before. Freeze them with the ice beam, kill them by shooting five missiles at them. This time around, though, uh, you actually have to kill all the Metroids in order to unlock the room, like the door into the next room. So you pretty much have to. Basically, the Space Pirates wanted to ensure that you completely and utterly screwed up their plans before you progressed. And evidently, I've been sucking because I let myself get attacked by the first Metroid that I ran across. Oh god. Well, that was a bit different. Had to just sit there in the lava, cool karma collected while I killed off a Metroid. Bet a bunch of pe Having said that though, I bet a bunch of people have done that before, considering, like, doing a 100% run is... Oh, this game, it's a bit tricky, but it's not really that much of an issue. God damn it. And they're really hard to shake off here as well, once you, once you, once you get them on you, so that's annoying. Especially more so in a 10% run when you've only got 99 energy to burn here. In there, I think, is another save room. This time I've actually remembered that I don't use the save room in case the thing goes down the shitter. So, yeah, this, th these rooms are just minor obstacles when you've got all these missiles, because you can just kill them so goddamn quick. Ooh. That was weird. Yeah, I could just use a super missile, because they, they, they are the equivalent of five missiles, so you can just shoot them with one, and it's an instant kill. Not going to do that, because I'd rather save my super missiles for the Mother Brain fight. Which therefore means it's probably going to be as anticlimactic as the Ridley fight. This place is so goddamn easy. I may actually get around to getting that energy tank at Chizodia. Because I'm going to be recording the last two segments of this week. And... Oh yeah, that's right, i got to do that. Yeah, that's... that. This one's hella annoying. Yeah, we've got two of these now. Ah! I, I, I shot that bloody thing. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, that could have been bad, but I managed to dodge certain doom there. Okay. It still it still is no challenge at all because I because I mean you have a shitloaf of missiles to use to kill this thing with, so it's really not that much of an issue to deal with. Alright, now I've got two more to deal with. Okay, that, I, yeah, I think that's all of them. Good thing these things don't get destroyed, like, when you, when you screw attack into them. No. Almost forgot there. Thank God I didn't. Now, there are two expansions here that you can get, but you have to kill Mother Brain first in order to get them. Because you've got to go back here and re-explore the place. And it's got... And, it, and one of them involves more Shine Sparking, which is... I'm pretty sure it's just a missile expansion, but... Uh, so, yeah. Now, final boss room. In a 9% run, this place is hell, because you only get five missiles, and the Zeva Tights require seven. So, I spent a shitload of times reloading save states here just to just to get rid of these goddamn things it is actually considerably it is actually slightly easier to get through the room in a 9% run of the game because like when you in it like oh well you know it, it, like because I did a 9% run that makes it hard that makes it harder in a 10% run uh, if you use the if you use one missile plus one super missile then you've got like two missiles and one super missile, which counts as five. So you've got your seven there. 
Now, I almost always jump in, end up falling into the lava here. And, oh, oh. If it wasn't for that stupid ranker, or spaghetti -o, or Alec, or Jack, whatever, whatever picked up on a bus wants to call them now, right now. Uh, yeah, that was a bit lame sauce. Okay. Boss bitch. I'm actually wondering how in the hell Jish managed to pull off killing this bitch in a 10% hard run because I actually had to stop playing and pretty much just recollect my thoughts when I did the 9% run of this. It was hella, hella annoying. Using a very similar strategy to what I did in the 10% run, having set... Well, the only difference here is that I can afford to screw up a bit at times because I've got all these energy tanks to burn. Which, it's probably not going to do much in the long run. Ah, damn it. Ah! Okay, this is annoying. I screw up, but I screw up way too much. Because when you fall into the lava, she shoots the beam at you. I'm actually wondering why in the hell I'm not using my super missiles here. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, I've got three energy tanks left. Holy oop. Oh, lordy. Much concentration needed because I could well die here. I, that's the big concern I have. Ah, oh, damn it. Jump. Alright. Wait till the rinkers show up. Freeze them. Shoot with a super missile. Jump. And I get hit by the goddamn things and I cannot get out of the lava. God damn it. Ow. Sweet. Thank god that killed her. Okay, two minutes. Do I have... Will I be able to get out in time? This is where the kick... This is the big kicker. I could save state, but I've... Like I said at the start, I don't want to abuse the crap out of save states. So, basically, just trying to wing it here, and it's not working. Not working at all. I could wall jump, but as you... But as, like, anybody who's seen the rest of this playthrough knows I suck at wall jumps. Oh, God. Come on. Not screwing this up. Okay, sweet. I think I'm in the clear here. If I was playing on the hard mode, this, I'd be well and truly dead because you only get one minute to escape in the hard mode. And so you have to be, like, lightning fast here. It's a good thing that you can just sh bloody use the speed booster to go through there, because otherwise you'd have to bomb jump up and, like, take a detour, basically, which takes longer. It's times like these where you just wonder how in the hell people are able to pull this off on hard mode using 10%. My god. See, so yeah, anyways, cutscene randomness. Oh no! You were safe and then you just weren't. You're being chased by their sperm ships. I I, I cannot deny this. I, I cannot draw any attention away from the fact that these are sperm ships. So let's get back to base, shall we? Pwned! Yeah, ran it. Yeah, that this is kinda crap. So uh basically beating Mother Brain and getting out it was the end of Metroid. Remake decided to throw all this stuff in the end. Not going to make a reference to the booty shot, even though I just did. Okay, so, yeah. Bad juju coming through. You can once I get to the save room. Now, I'm, now, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that you can uh, use the... Like, I'm pretty sure that you can use the the save stations here to j just for recovering your energy. See, that's a power bomb thing. You blow that up, and I think it takes you just to another power bomb expansion. So, I'm not sure. It, it's probably another missile. 
because I still need, I believe I had 175 at the end. Oh, hang on, another cutscene. Oh no, something sees me. It couldn't possibly be some sort of robotic dragon-like thing that I, that could possibly kill the shit out of me. Map room. Hella useful. Let's try this. Okay, I get all my energy back, which is good. But I will not save. Okay, now this is where the this is where bad juju can start happening. I press the wrong button. I am ever so awesome. Oh crap! These things do a full tank of damage. That's bad. That, however, was awesome. Okay, I just lost six energy tanks there. Because I completely forgot that I had my shooting button set to C instead of the X key. Fuck. Yeah, that was a really bad that was a really bad move to do there. Okay, now there now there's this bad part. Because you gotta shoot this and then the uh, the idea was to wall jump up off there and then back up and you wouldn't be able to and you wouldn't have to worry. Uh I can only take four more hits. Which, it evidently isn't very good. Ah. And here's the thing, we, I don't th I'm not even halfway through getting to where I need to be. Ah, okay, safe zone. Me like safe zones. I'm very tempted to save state here, but, like, I really don't want to. How bad's the next part, actually? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna save state. I didn't want to do it, but I'm pretty much have no choice. Because if I die here without s and without a save state, I go all the way back and pretty much have to redo the whole segment. And I really wouldn't want to do that. Oh god! Damn it! This is the bad part. Yeah, crap. Okay, I took another hit there. Okay, one hit. So I've got three hit li hits left to take. Another safe zone. Not gonna save state here. That would make me way too much of a wuss here. Okay. Searchlights. Don't get caught by the searchlights. Ah! Oh, damn it! That was weak source. I almost never, I almost always managed to avoid those. And now I've lost an, another energy tank because of it. Oh god. Thank god this is a safe zone here. Alright, gonna save state again. No way in hell am I tanking any more risks. Wait. Wow, I am a moron. I completely overlooked the fact that there was a save station here. Fantastic. Like, that was awesome. Okay, someone want to explain to me how I've just become ran- how I've randomly gotten good at the wall jumps. Oh, fantastic. I get good at the wall jumps and then I fuck up another, like, just piece of cake jump. Someone want to explain that one to me? Oh, safe zone. Yay. Thank God we got this little compartment here. Okay, sweet. Now, if I do this right... Yep, indeed. Oh, uh, God. Yep, screw it. I could have taken the... Uh, I could have taken the... Shortcut, which would have made things so much easier, but then... I randomly had to suck at doing wall jumps again. Ah, uh, thank god. Drop! Drop a long way. God damn it. Ah. Run, 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 forest, run! God damn bugs. Thank god there is a safe, safe spot here. Okay. Okay, another save room. 
So I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save state. I know I've pretty much just thrown that whole like abuse save states rule down the window here. Yeah, because I deal with have to deal with shit like that. I honestly thought that I would have been able to pull off even wall jumps, at least that kind of wall jump. One, the actual wall jump that is theoretically possible. I don't know. Ah, uh, god damn it. Damn it. Run, son. Run. Oh, god. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Lord, he's gonna see me. Epic. Ah. No, 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 no. God damn it. Oh shit. This isn't good. Oh come on. Okay, that that worked a bit better than I than I was hoping. Save stating again cuz I I cannot take another hit. Oh shit. Oh. God. Damn. No. God damn it. Oh uh, lordy. Come on. Just whatever you do, please don't shoot. Okay, this is a pretty long segment. I'm gonna finish once I get to the boss fight, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. And I did not speak at all for like the last maybe minute or so, because, yeah, this is, this is pretty, this is showing itself to be dastardly hard. I don't think I had any problems like this when I did my first normal run, because I did it on my brother-in-law's computer, but I got up to meta, meta, the Mecha Ridley fight. OMG, spoilers. Not like anybody, not like anybody who hasn't played the. It's not like the audience consists of entirely of people who haven't played the game. Save room, my god. Um. Actually, I don't think I. Eh, I don't want the segment to go way too long, and I'm going to record another one anyway. So, uh, I'm going to stop this segment here. Next time, we will fight. We'll be getting our suit back at least.